Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Baldur's Gate Triple <laughs> Trilogy. <laughs> Let's play. <laughs> no, it's not a triple play. It's ain't baseball. Uh, anyway, we're back on Baldur's Gate three, and of course, we are in Casador's house, which is all fancy looking with people trying to keep everything clean, even though it probably already is, and they don't seem to give a crap if you take away their paintings away. Well, we've run into Gody, the um. Oh, whatever that title was, I said. Um, not quite as fleshed out as I thought he would be. But anyway, um, now we have to, uh, roll a check to see if we can slip by him. Or we can just beat him up if we wanted to, which I don't exactly think would be a good idea, considering how many, uh, thralls I've seen already, so. Uh, Kazdar hired me to capture Asterion. I'm here to deliver. Which, when you consider the fact that there is some vampire guy, vampire hunting guy around here, Back in the Gur encampment, it's not exactly a lie. I'm just the wrong one. <laughs> ah, that was easy. But you're too late to see the master. The doors are sealed. He will not be disturbed. Oh, so he was my nose. Doors can red be coat. unsealed. Do you have the key? Perhaps. But the master ordered the doors closed. Until he was finished. Godi will not open them for anyone, much less for you. Well, Kazdar gave me orders too. He needs to be returned no matter what. Uh, this one isn't. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, gonna need help this time. Do, 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 do. 17. Okay, we're good. Nice. 49. Godi was wondering about that. Godi knows the master was searching for Astarian. He must have forgotten Astarian was lost. Here. Here it is. That was easy. Now go to him. Help him achieve his destiny. I'm like fucking hell, I will. All right. Uh, so we got the Sar family ring. Doesn't, I don't know if it does anything. Um. Okay. Well, we managed to. Here goes nothing. That happened. Let's see here. So much to do. So much to prepare. And um. Swift as uh oh, the door's locked. Oh shit. Wait. Hold on. Um. Yeah, they locked the freaking door on me. Oh, piece of shit. Okay. Well, I'll just have to unlock it then, won't I? And pray to God I don't, you know. Hey, what's in here? Oh, I didn't check out this chest, did I? What's inside? I don't know. What's inside? Eh, alchemical, alchemical crap. Okay. Very well then. I what's past this. He doesn't seem to care if we do or not, which is nice. <sighs> hey, just please don't fuck this up. Okay, good. Yay! We're out. Kind of irritates me. I don't know why they. I mean, I can understand locking the door, but so why do that if I manage to successfully just. Let's see, here's the dormitory wing. Wow. Let me just take a look in here. Hmm. The spawn dormitory. Okay. Dormitory. This is where the spawn were kept. When we were getting neither the carrot nor the stick. <laughs> And there's our bathroom. Okay. Alright, so... Let's see. Okay, and if we look in here... Oh, the favorite spawn. Eh. No wonder. 
Oh, wow. What a difference. Also, why do I have to keep making saves against being frightened? Ooh, excuse me. A scroll, another scroll of sunbeam. We'll take that one. These would be very helpful. Uh, Leon's diary. Oh, he was one of those that tried to bring us back. Leon Onufrio, final page. Ever since the mass returned me and forced me to bring Victoria along into the palace, I've had to be his best hunter just so I could stay in here with my daughter and keep her away from the other spawn. I don't like the way Violet looks at him, not at all. When I ask the master what he plans to do with Victoria, Castor just gives me that wicked smile. The next time I get out of the hunt, I must talk to Figaro to finalize the deal for Victoria's escape disguise. If only there's enough time before this ritual the master talks about. There was some that guy named Figaro, uh... I ran into... Yeah, the, uh, yeah. I remember now. Uh... I guess we'll sell it later. Yeah, I'll take this. Okay. It's amazing how much you can get away with in here. I'm genuinely surprised nobody's like, Stop! Thief! Something like that. Uh, let's see. Is there... F uh, nope. Sponge baths. Hmm. I see. So. Oh, wow. Ah! These are pretty snazzy looking. I'll send them to the camp. Need some nice fancy clothes to wear. Uh, silver crap, silver crap. Starburst Shandy. Scruffy Vagabond and Rustic Dark Outfits. I think I had one of those earlier. Anyway. Let's keep on and moving. Okay, so here's the scary looking door. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little worried about what we'll find in here. I'm almost worried about how bad how difficult this battle's gonna be. The door is covered in intricate text, but you can't see anywhere a key might fit. Only a small round hollow engraved with a family crest. Um I mean, you never know. 25 DC, shit. Oh! Yes! Nice! It's written in archaic Kozakuran, a rare version of an already obscure language. There are inscriptions like this all over the palace. Kazador strictly forbade us from learning the language. You can make out enough to recognize an incantation, but the specifics elude you. Alright, well... Let's see what happens when I do this. I mean, we got a ring instead of a key. The ring slots perfectly into place. But nothing happens. However, you get a feeling from the door as if it expects something else. Well, that's just writing creepy. writing on the door glints in the candlelight. Perhaps it's significant. Well, before I do, before I go too quickly, did I? What now? No, I did not. Okay. Oh, uh, here we'll give you the best time. Here we go. Yeah, we we haven't talked very much, he and I. Can't give up now. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe it expects uh, Asterion to open it. Everything must be clean. Everything must be perfect door to Cazador's ballroom, where he hosted his most hedonistic nights. Hmm. You've never seen it closed, let alone locked before. The door is covered in intricate text, but you can't see anywhere a key might fit. Only a small, round hollow. Let me try it. Let me try it with him. 
the ring slots perfectly into the strange writing on the door glints in the candle. Hmm. I have a lot on my mind. And, well, okay. Hang on one second. Okay, well, crap. I guess we gotta keep looking around then. Well, that thing. Of course, it's always something. Okay, well. Watch your back. Let's see. I guess I'll just uh, go ahead along and go ahead and, um, you know, not steal any fancy pictures at all. I was gonna say, I'm like, how the hell? <laughs> anyway. Alright, well, I'll let you guys. I'll be back when I found something. Damn it. I feel so drained. There's necrotic magic at work here. Oh dear! A dead woman. And she's, um. Yeah. Yeah, let's close the door. Uh, okay. Exit track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Well, that's just fucking great. Ah, shit. Okay. Arrgh. Okay. Finally gave in and just ran off to the... Okay, so... Let's see, where's the guest room? Uh, I think it was downstairs, if I remember correctly, or somewhere. Yeah, unfortunately, it turns out we actually do have to get into the guest room. Which is kind of infuriating, considering, you know... The, nec <laughs> the necrotic damage it can inflict, so... We don't have any real resistance to it, so we're just gonna have to deal with it. Um... I am kind of curious if we have anything that can let us resist damage. The only thing I can think of is, um, let's see here. That's not it. She perchance have some, let's see. Here, here we go. Oh no, never mind. That's only those five. Ah, for crying! All right, all right. We'll just grab you then. Let's march. All right. I genuinely thought this was some sort of bonus area, considering the damage you can avoid, but no, apparently not. Okay. No. Silver plate, Victoria. Okay. No. Uh, Victoria's notes. Okay. Yeah, we better switch to turn-based mode. Uh, okay. Anyway. Um. Anyway. Let me read this real quick. Remember to read that ancient language book. I'll need to know some of my capital to be able to remove for you within the palace. Set. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. Um, so. Unfortunately. Yeah, there's not really a lot we can do about that. Okay. Well, let's take a look. Okay. Okay, so extra uh, Alright. Splendid gold outfit. Out. Yeah. Damn, I love this. Some name blue. Backless extravaganza. Ooh, that's one for the ladies to wear. Okay. And there it is, the Koza Current Dictionary. Because he mentioned in his book giving the Koza Current Dictionary to uh, Victoria, but I didn't realize that was something they needed. Well, there you go. I guess I needed it. Silly me. Anarchic purple outfit. That looks hot. And Lionheart team. Sure. Uh, I don't wear sandals. Not even real life. So, okay. Okay, turn based mode. God, it's so freaking. I don't like this. There's ought to be a way to at least turn the damn shit off. It. Not really? Okay. No time to waste. Oh, here. Let me. 
Yeah, I was afraid of that. Okay, well, we got the uh, journal. That's the good news. The bad news is I'm already really low on health. And let's see. Let's see. Hang on. Can we get any short rest in here? My golly. Well, I don't know. Can we? Here. Let me try. Uh, Hooray! We can. All right. Cool. Nice. Didn't have to waste any healing spells. I believe this. Okay. Uh, finally. Best be on my way. Rather that nightmare. Because I think, yeah, they did mention Koza Curran, but I completely forgotten about the dictionary, and I'm like, ugh. I mean, geez, the guy would have been smarter. He would have kept it with himself. Clearly, his daughter was not kept safe, so. It's likely she, uh wasn't supposed to take the dictionary and then someone cornered her but they can't the find it so they just dispose of her instead with naught to see but strange writing and a small hollow Alrighty. let's try this the ring slots perfectly into place a strange writing on the door glints in the oh, dang it I thought I would just use it automatically. Oh, crying out loud. Hang on. Let's see here. Let's see. Okay, okay. Oh, I got it, didn't you? Okay. Let's read it. This book is a dictionary of ancient Kozakur and language from the distant land of Karatur. Oh, nice! Yoshima would know something of this. Flipping through the pages, you find certain words phrased underlined. Open, enter, beware, forbidden, sealed. Language. Well, that tells me. Oh, I know. It was on Zara's ring. Okay. Zara's ring, huh? Let's see. Um. Let's get going. Hang on one second. Ring. No, it was um Don't burn yourself. God damn it, who picked that one up? I mind. Here it is. Um So maybe maybe I have to equip this then. Can I equip this? Some bitch, I can. Well, I think it's uh pretty easy to figure out at this point. <laughs> Alright. Someone there. Wait. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Why would I have to equip it? I just push the here. Hang on. Okay, let's try this again. The door remains sealed. With naught to looking closer, you recognize the writing. It's the same Kozakuran script from the dictionary you found. Okay. Read the door's inscription aloud. Oh. Okay. The ring slots perfectly into place, and the door swings open. Oh, nobody actually said it? Damn, I wanted to see what that what, what the actual everything. writing was. Okay, well. Oh, well. Can't, you know. ahead. Maybe they figured that would be oh, what? You can't be here. No one in, no one out. You're new. Casador never kept guard dogs before. <sighs> the runaway spawn. <sighs> you reek of the master's scent. Come with us. Come to master. Uh, excuse me. I will not be ordered around my own house by some blowing mutt. <sighs> <sighs> we bring you to him. We get his face. Garris Hoon. Oh dear! Lots and lots of animals! Oh, and guess who gets to go last? You know that? Fuck. Alright. Oh. Wow. These, uh. These doggies have had their fill to eat. Let's see. A white mist. A uh, white mist, uh. Where? There's soon. Some bats and giant rats. Okay. <coughs> 
Uh, how long does this last? Okay. Well, yeah. Want a contra barrage? <laughs> okay, um. Ow. Damn. Yeah, that's gotta go. Hail. Okay, oh man. Oh, we have a lot of these to deal with, so. Okay. Oh, I'm trying to think how to do this. Oh man, this would be so much just easier with a wizard. Okay. Well, in that case, let's see here. Simple toxin, basic poison. What are these? Let's see, no resistance. What about the werewolves? Strange. They say they are immune to physical weapons? Except it says it's not found, so I don't know if that's an error or something. I don't know. I'm a little worried to try now. Uh, no resistance is on him, though, so... Um, yeah. Okay. Well, we only get this on the first turn we attack, so... Alright, let's use Wyvern Toxin. And then let's... Oh, beautiful. Woohoo! And you can do it again if you want, so... Oh, for crying out loud. Really? Okay. Okay, try again. Nice. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, great. Okay. You. So much for peace. Yeah, we, we, you need to get your ass back. Um. Wow, wow, your folks. Okay. Go ahead and uh, yeah, pop him here. Bam. Um. Go ahead and make an offhand attack against Bloodfang here. Uh, don't. And then get your ass behind the plot, please and thank you, because this is. This is going to suck. Alright, um... Mmm, okay. Go a little forward. And then let's see here. Um... I hate using too many of these, but... Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, screw it. Let's just throw one of these. Okay. Oh, we can hit the bat. Yeah, the rats, too. Right? Meow! Boink! Yes. Okay. Now, I know your dexterity kind of sucks, but... Take your ranged weapon and go like this. Ha 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 One down. Okay. Back in a melee, and then just back up a bit, please. I like the music. Okay. It's gonna get a lot worse before it gets better. Horned. 
sick. That's cute. Now, unfortunately, I did learn, and I was kind of stupid to not realize this, but... Oh, wow, here they come. Um, the uh, Shadowheart, because of her fear of wolves... Um, probably didn't need to do that. She actually has to make saving throws against the wolves, or she'll be famous. That's not good! Unless, of course, oh, well, she didn't have to do it that time. Threatened. Aspect elf. Okay. Oh, maybe not. Maybe because we got over. I don't fucking know. Um. But yeah, I'm just gonna. Hmm. Earth elementals mean anything? No, they're not. Damn it! Should have chosen a fire one or something so I could. No, oh, it doesn't matter. Let's see here. Yeah, let's go ahead and whip up some radiant damage. Whip up some radiant damage if you so please! Um, and then, of course, we'll do the usual. Get all spiritual weapons. Okay. Alright, end the turn. Really? You're not going? Are you even here? I wonder if that's some... It doesn't matter. Uh, the thought goes next. Blaze Hewn. Duva Relin. Yeah, why not? Let's finish her. Finish what we started. Turn. And then, let's see here. Seismic Strike. Mm, she is not in range, so... Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's do it. Oh, man! Oh, that went half the enemies. Nice! Look at all the experience we gained. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're already in threat range, so it's in the turn. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. What are you doing? Why don't you... Okay, let's fight. Let's go into melee. Why is that purple? Never mind. Uh. Mm, I kind of hate to waste my attacks, but. Wabam! Well, actually, as a Gloomstalker, get one more, so. <laughs> uh, let's see. Now, is this melee? It is melee. Uh. No, no, you know what? No. Let's just, let's just hit the fucker. Oh, I am. All right. In the turn. Why don't you just leap off the... There's got to be something they're up to if that's what they're going to do. <laughs> Idiots. All right. All right. I'll swat you. Oh. Oh, my God. I hate it when that happens. Oh, it's so freaking annoying. Okay. Well, there's... Okay. Um, I'm not going to waste my second attack on him, so... He's a garbage. Uh, I'm just going to throw... Uh, where can I throw this safely? Actually, wait. You're resistant to fire, aren't you, Karlak? I just... No... Okay, well, let's at least make a little bit of a space that people can, you know, see. Oh, shit. Okay, good. I'm like, crap, did I walk too far? Okay. Oh, hell, that cost her ass. Damn it. What the? I thought I got two regular attacks. Okay, never mind then. Maybe it was. Oh, uh, well, maybe it's a. Uh, yeah. It's kind of like the full attack that you did in the. Uh, Original versions. You were allowed to make one as long as you didn't do anything else. Okay. Um, Blaze Hewn. Let's see here. That's a short rester, so. 
Yeah, why not? Let's use it on you. Trembling legs? What is trembling legs? Affected entity is still wobbling on and say, oh, that's because of the, I think. Also, you have, you lost charisma. I don't know how. I don't really care. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I'll, I'll take another pot shot. Nice. Uh, can't keep using these all day, but. Oh, fuck, yes. Damn it. Right. Uh, of course. Okay. Uh, we'll switch to melee, please. And then let's run over here. Oops! <laughs> She's got good strength, so... Uh, yeah. Oh, man! Again? Really? It's bullcrap! Fucking hate this garbage. Alright. Alright, well, that's what I got you for. Nice. Woohoo! Way to hit him. You only get one attack per round? No, because I suck. Um, alright. Multi attack your butt. Oh, wow. Okay. He really is. Okay. Maybe he's immune to regular weapons because my uh, allies haven't had any trouble hitting him, anyone, so. I just hope the game doesn't pull a dodge or whatever. Uh, let's do. Was an animal asleep? Well, yeah, let's use this just in case. Okay. Nice. Do it again. Snazzy! Alright. Enter. Oh, fuck you. Alright. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Garrus is the lower one. Um, and then there's White Mist. White Mist looks so cute! I almost feel bad killing this one! Look at that cute big ass werewolf. Oh, would you hurt something that just looks so majestic? Well, I get. Okay, yes, I guess if they were attacking you, would. But uh, anyway. Oh, that's great! Eh, let's just do regular damage. Cry about it. Yeah, see? There. He took damage from it. So, yeah, I think it's just. One of those immune to non magical weapons, which, you know, level 11, you'd want something cool like that. Okay, enter. Alrighty then. Um. I actually feel like trying this one out, but I want to wait for that for a little bit. Okay. There we go. And I'll turn. Hmm. It's kind of funny. I think she got over her fear. I wonder how old that guide is. It's said I would have to just contend with that, but maybe not. Strike. Yeah. Alright. Um. We're about to go away after this battle is done, so let's try and last rate him. Never mind. We got him. Yay! Alright. That wasn't too hard. The moment. Anyway. Uh oh wow, we're almost at level eleven. Sweet. Okay. Var, de, var uh where are you at? Vardanol. Okay. Your body disappeared apparently? I don't forget. Um I don't imagine any of these guys are gonna have anything, but let's check out the where you know, so. Anything of use? What about Garrus Yume? You see, no. Yep. But yeah, so vampires, uh, werewolves looking for vampires. I think it's safe to say Another step we forward. all know who the, uh, who's bearing the slave collar in that relationship. No, nothing on the part of guests. 
Let's see. Shack shit clothes. Uh, that's into camp. Let's see. That's not a door. Hmm. That must be where uh, he normally sits. Sensor. I'll get you in. Read this. Santi, I've been invited to a party at the Tsar Palace tonight in a ballroom. Show me the chamber limit. The doors don't know. You enjoy me. Wear your best dress. Clara. Yeah. I don't think that went as planned. Oh, there's a band. What the hell? You're going to kill people with a band? Ah. Okay. The gate is pub crawl guide. Okay. <laughs> Uh, everyone goes on about the owl song. Well, iconic it is. How interesting its goat is. Well, boo, I say. I wish I have drama. Drama. And I can't with a spirit just enough to stop any but itself performing. Therefore, it is with, with stupendous delight that I suggest my many other glorious boozing establishments. Take the bloody mer blushing mermaid where you can watch Simmer the Siren dazzle the crowd or simply enjoy its swashbuckling patient patrons sing shanties and beat one another in oblivion. Too bad they got rid of the whorehouse in the basement. Or mayhaps you fancy a delightful venue with live music and the most sour wait staff you ever met. If so, the singing lute is for you. Tucked away by the harbor, it's perfect for your romantic evening. If nothing else, Hank's delightful demeanor will make you grateful for your beloved. However, there remains another watering hole. One not only most daring and the most courageous of patrons go, such which touch your middle and rub shoulders with the city's secret underbelly, I can only tell you this. Enjoy the guild hall. Hmm. Alrighty then. Yeah, this definitely looks kind of important. Here's a dais. No idea how that works. What if it's one of those things you pour blood in and it makes this really intriguing pattern, pattern or whatever? You stand on a clean metal platform, a beautiful but antiquated elevator. Oh, I see. To show its age, signs of things dragged onto it over the years, but it seems to be in good working order. What in the hells? I never knew this was here. This was always Cazador's private quarters. Only he ever came in here. Well, him and the unfortunate souls we brought to feed him. Interesting. Let's not do that just yet. I'm gonna check out a little bit more. Yeah, I think it's safe to say if he was gonna change into something Bigger and scarier, it would definitely be down there. Oh my god, really? A party planner? This guy just thinks of everything, doesn't he? Let me read this. As he to be the working notebook used by a certain Chamberlain Dufay to plan Casador's gatherings in a mansion ballroom. Functions are divided into two categories, those for, those for invited guests and those for involuntary guests. The entertainment for the latter category being considerably more sinister than the former. Final handwritten entries below. Master has ordered a special party. A final feast, he said. This will be my ultimate test, but I am prepared. I am sure that the guests, both invited and voluntary, will be thrilled to participate. Mm-hmm. I'm sure they will. All right. Okay. Well, with that, uh, bear in mind, I'm going to go ahead and head on down to... Actually, let me see. Oh, I'm real quick. It's probably too many. Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and... Head on down that elevator, okay, and I will see you when I get down there. on the elevator's platform, you can feel a cold draft from below. 
Okay, we're going downstairs on an elevator that doesn't seem to fit the hole it was in, but whatever. <laughs> Don't forget, it's an indie game. Cazador's Dungeon. Oh my goodness. Okay, well. Let's go to. Oh, hey! We got three waypoints! I'll give it a shot. Now that is nice. We can, um. Okay, what the fuck's the point then? <laughs> That's probably after we're done. Oh my goodness. This. This one will not be very interesting. Maybe a little bit scary. Uh, let's see here. Okay, well. Wow. Okay. That's, uh. Always room for more? What in the hell? I never knew any of this was here. Boy, our friend Kazdor apparently likes to keep a lot of secrets. Okay. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna make a hard save, just in case. Uh, okay. Uh, looking for Kazador. There we go. That way, if anything goes wrong, then I've got a place where I can jump back, go back upstairs, and, uh, you know, heal up if I need to. Um, let's see. Is there anything? Uh, just a crystal face. Okay. Uh, cryptics. Oh, I sure do love how long elementals last. I can see barriers up, uh, oh, wow. My house, how low does this place go? What, do I need a fly spell or something? Yeah, I have no idea what the hell I need to do here. Um, hmm. I mean, I don't think that's a good idea. I could die from enough falls, so. Just like the door to the ballroom upstairs, this door features no keyhole, but does have an indentation for a signet ring. Do we have to say anything? The ring slots perfectly into place, and the door opens, assailing you with pungent, musty air. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Uh, okay, so I see some people in here. And I see some people in here. Um, okay. Well, now that I know the doors can be opened that easily, I'm gonna jaunt over here real quick. Because I'm not sure which doors are the main doors and which doors aren't, but... Like the door to the ballroom upstairs. Oh, great. We're going to have to see this the dialogue wings. every time, huh? Now, thankfully, I have a space bar, so I don't need to worry about that. Hmm. Something looks awfully shiny over there. I'm a little worried this is going to be a trap. Anyway, power structure of Baldur's Gate. Uh, Kazor's thoughts and concerns about the power structure and how the changing balance between facts of X's own ability to operate in the city without interference or competition. Um, the most recent notes are at the end relate to the old problem of nine fingers in the guild and new concerns about the ambitious young Lord Gortash. Kazor's worries about the guild revolve around the rise of the brash new criminal kingpin known as the Stone Man and what it might mean for the gates underworld if nine fingers is replaced. Meanwhile, the upstart Gortash is fielding prototypes of his steel watchers in the city streets. Are they capable enough to detect and damage Kazor's vampire spawn? Guilds, nobles, politicians. If he controlled even a fraction of these, the city could be his. And no one would ever know. The mortal view. The guild seal on the inside of the cover belongs to a print pink collective Baldur's Gate. Of course I remember. Knew the second little girl... Knew the second that little girl walked in would be trouble. Oh, okay. I've already read this. Huh. Interesting that he would see this, but I guess, yeah. Eternal cruelty. For my sins, my soul is made ink and written on this parchment where it scrawls unless you free it. 
what the hell that is. Meditation of a vampire lord. Uh, Trump of Castle or Star, it reports, it records the movement of his actions and of his spawn with particular attention paid to Asterion. I wonder why. Every order, failure, and punishment is recorded with cold calculation. Only in the most recent entry seemed to betray any emotion. Asterion failed to return from his hunt this night. Gode informed he will have the pliers ready when the boy shows himself again. Still missing. I ought to not to be surprised. The boy has always been troublesome. But disappear now when we are all but ready it is unconscionable even for him. I have dispatched the brood. They will find him and bring him home. And when they do, I will make him scream for this. It has been days and he is still missing. No amount of pain has motivated his brothers and sisters to find him. Seems water's gifts can wild him whole. I am searching further afield, but my reach outside the city is limited. In the meantime, the hunt continues here. My spawns fail me. The starion eludes me. I will have my due. Wow. Ethan of angry. Scroll for names. Many certain names be familiar for Baldurian, though some of those ne near the beginning of the list are families now long disappeared. Ah. thousands of names. Were they his victims or something else entirely? Let's look at this. On the pillow rests a skull with a scroll clamped in its bony jaws. The skull's empty eye sockets flare with an eldritch gleam. You feel invited somehow to witness the skull's memories. It seems urgent. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. The skull is all that remains of the vampire Velios. He turned Casador, gave him the gift, and then taught him the rules of vampiric existence. What is Velios's first lesson? Bit knowledge? Ooh! Nice. Oh, from partially deciphering the neck. Okay. Well, I'm curious about this, but you never know. You know what? Uh, let's just use inspiration. Okay, there we go. That's better. Valioth's first lesson is always to dominate. Allow none to be your equal. <laughs> Valioth recalls when Casador reached out to a former friend. His punishment was to watch as Valioth drained his friend dry. Ugh. Uh, concentrate on the memory. The second lesson. Ten, Damn it! Ah! Uh, I shouldn't, but all right, I'll roll again. That's not gonna work. Yeah, I'm not. This doesn't feel particularly You're distracted you know. by an errant thought and lose the thread of Velioth's lesson. Velioth recalls when Casador rebelled against him. Casador suffered eleven years of impalement <laughs> because he failed. Goodness. Mm. You know what? Hang on. I'm gonna just back off. I don't know why the hell I'm even doing this with you. On the pillow rests a skull. The skull's empty eye feel invited somehow. To this skull is all that remains of the vampire Velio. Okay. He turned Casador, gave him the gift, and then taught him the rules of vampiric existence. Valioth's first lesson Always is Valioth dominate. recalls when Casador reached out to a former friend. His punishment was to watch as Valioth drained his friend dry. Mm. That might be enough. Yeah, it is. Okay. Valioth's second lesson is that power comes from solitude. To share with others is to be weak, and to be weak is to fail and die. Mm. Velioth recalls when Casador rebelled against him. 
Casador suffered 11 okay. years of impalement because he failed. Mm. It lasts until long rest, so... Okay. Why not? Let's not take any heat. Let's not take any chances. Okay. I guess we didn't need it. Valiot's third lesson is to act not in haste. A near immortal has time to plan. Time to act only when others will pay the price of action. Hmm. Velioth recalls Casador, his Good lessons sense. learned, killing him in the rite of perfect slaughter. How they both laughed. Velioth recalls Casador boiling the flesh from his skull, and then to mock him, clamping his schooling scroll in Velioth's jaws. The skull's eyes flash a final time, and its jaws sag open. The scroll with all of Casador's rituals is yours. Velioth is no more. Hmm. Even his precious rules. Interesting. Let's see. A black mass scroll. It doesn't really. I don't know if it does anything, but it might be worth hanging on to. <clears throat> yeah, I'll need to drop that body off. So. <laughs> okay. Why? Well, hey, that was kind of cool. I've got a long road ahead. All right. Oh, oh! Don't forget what to get a chest. Yellow chests always have fancy stains. Oh, that's gold. Let's do this again. Uh, let's get back to you. Let's see. Battle mage's power. Let's see. Arcane acuity. I always forget what this is. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah, I'll take this one. And then the oil of bane. Uh, let's give that to you. No reason. Asterion's gotta have all the poisons. <laughs> okay, now. We've done that. Let's go ahead and head back to the people. I know. Just. Try to hold on, alright? Approaching the cells, you're met with hollow eyed faces. There's an almost physical stink of decay and neglect. Ah, uh, God, these poor people. Uh, they're disgusting. Casador never fed on wretches like this. How did they get here? What is Casador doing with them? My brethren spoke nothing of this. It's gotta have something to do with his transformation. You. I know you. You're the one from the tavern. You smiled and joked and got me drunk. No. You're dead. You called me so many sweet things. My name sounded like a lyric on your tongue. Sebastian. You remember me. You were handsome. Shy. You'd never been kissed. You taught me how. And then you destroyed me. It can't be. I wonder if Castor got, uh, kept him around personally. Just to. And get out of the steering somehow. I don't know. <laughs> well, in any case, like I said, this has to have something to do with the big transformation ritual. So yeah, um, who is he? It's not just him. I know so many of these faces. They're my conquests. I pursued them. Seduced them and brought them to Casador. He told us he was feeding on them, but he turned them to spawn. 
He turned every last one, so we'd have souls for this cursed ritual. How long? What? How long have I been down here? Um. Well, however long it is, we gotta get these people out of here. We get them out. Uh, Castor won't have his uh ritual fuel, so free. We'll never be free while that monster lives. That's why we're here to destroy Castor. You can't. It's not possible. Find a way. And then... What happens to us? Like I said, we'll set you free. Free from this... nightmare. It doesn't feel possible. I promise you. I know that feeling all too well. But it can be done. Whatever you do, just do it quickly. I can't go and wait. We'll be back. You have my word. What? Huh. I'll be damned. My father will come soon. This is horrible. Okay, well, I guess we got ourselves a key to find. Ding dong! Whoa. Oh! We're gonna be searching a while, aren't we? <laughs> Alright. Let's keep going. Oh. He wants to speak. Well. You clearly want to say something. I just want to know if you'll actually set those prisoners free. I... I don't know. I thought they were dead for so long. I could feel guilty. Happy in the knowledge there was nothing I could have done differently. I could never have saved them. But now... Now there's a choice to make. should free them. You owe them that. And what am I owed? What about the injustices I've suffered? Am I not entitled to anything? All that matters now is killing Kazador. I've earned that, if nothing else. We can deal with the prisoners when the time is right. After all... They're not going anywhere. I mean, fair point, but when you said that makes me a little nervous. All right. Okay, let's see. Leon. See the sacrificial lambs. Let me take a look around. Uh, is this a door? No, it does not appear to be. Okay, okay then. Just kind of curious to see if there's anything else I could do. Look how far down this goes. Wow. There's no telling how many prisoners he's kept. How big this place is. Alright. Okay. Well, in any case, it looks like he's uh not too far from us, actually. Where did the Oh for crying out loud, you idiot. 
gotta start. Okay, hang on. Let me see if I can. Alright. Well, I see Cazador up there, so... Looks like the big fight's about ready to get going. Boy. I hope this goes better than the freaking... At least things have stayed interesting. Alright. Here goes nothing. Um... Yeah. Gur chatter teeth. Oh, it's the Gurs. No, the slaughter is here. Oh my god, we have a lot. <laughs> we got a lot of peeps to deal with. Let's see. Hail Petrus. Deliria. Violet. Yusin. Aurelia and Leon. Of course, those six. Okay. One more save, and let's see what happens. If nothing else, maybe killing Cass. Okay. Uh, hi. Who stands before us? Is this truly our prodigal son? Hm? Do not slouch before me, boy. Have you no respect for yourself? Look at you. Crawling back after abandoning your family. You should be begging our forgiveness. Keep back, don't intervene. Forgiveness? You've never forgiven anything. Every mistake, every slip was punished. I strove for perfection in all things. Even those as imperfect as you. A pity you amounted to so little, despite my efforts. No! No. Fuck you. And fuck everything you've ever done to me! We're here for justice. You're gonna pay. I will not speak to cattle. This is between me and the boy. You son of a bitch. Oh, no. You truly forgot my power. You truly thought our bond as creator and creation was all that stopped you from killing me? Hmm? Oh, you are weak. My child, you are a small, pathetic little boy who never amounted to anything. But today, you will finally do something worthwhile. You will burn, and I will ascend. Ah, crap. And we just lost a party member. Stop him! Get me out of this! Witness the birth of the Vampire Ascendant! Eke Dominus!
Throwing you guys a quick update. So, I've tried this battle twice already. Two more times afterwards already. And, I mean, it's already hard by itself, which isn't really that big a deal. But, the real issue comes from the fact that I have tried twice now, and I cannot figure out a way to save a Starian. In fact, they have these glyphs that pop up when he gets the ascension going, so I thought that would block the way, but that would apparently didn't stop it. And what's even worse, they only really have three turns to keep the ascension going, so my only alternative idea is to just kick Asterion out of the party uh. and fight on with other people, because I can tell you right now, I mean, losing Asterion in this fight is making everything incredibly more difficult, but um, that's all I can think of. Unfortunately, I'm kind of out of time. It's a little late, and I'm going to have to bounce for now. But hopefully in the next episode, I will have a solution to all this. It'd just be... I, I hate to do this without a staring. It just doesn't feel right. But, you know, if I have to, I have to. It's not that big a deal. But, yeah. So, for now, I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take care of yourselves and throw up.